therapist. can be your therapist. You don't the need to pay the therapist. You, you, you know? overthink. <laughs> You overthink what, how- What's up guys, I'm Dylan and I go to USC and today I'm here to do Tabo takes. I will be picking out some statements from this bucket or Tabo and I'll be reacting to it and my parents will be reacting to it too. I'm paying to go to college to study a major that I don't know if I like. <laughs> Um, this one kind of hits home. Um, I actually switched my major four times. I initially went in as a bio major on the pre-med track because um, obviously medical school is the number one um, way to make a lot of money and obviously make my parents proud. I didn't really know if I wanted to do it or not. I just knew um, I knew what the job title was. So my first three major switches from pre-med to pre-dent back to pre-med, that was all in the framework or mindset of how am I supposed to make sure that my parents aren't wasting their money on me by going to USC, which is a notoriously expensive school. And I really needed to shift my mindset when thinking about college and that I have a stake in it too, even if it doesn't feel like it. And so that's kind of how I landed on cognitive science. Um, my parents don't really know what that means either. I like to think of it as kind of applied psychology, but I do want to make it known that I chose law for myself and not really so much more for my parents. And that's why I also chose the music minor as a sort of kind of form of rebellion, I guess, or a way that I could figure out a way to kind of go to college for myself and make it more about me. I get stressed that I don't understand the school system enough to help my kid. Yeah, that's very true. We did not graduate here. We really don't know how the system works. Even though as an immigrant, you strive hard um, to do your best as a couple for us. So that way we're rest assured that we have a shelter, we could afford whatever they need. You know, the stress, I think as, a, as the mom, I pass it on to Dylan. You do all the research because I really don't know <laughs> where to look, how to look, who to ask. I don't have any network. I graduated in the Philippines. I got my MBA in the Philippines. I don't know. It's nothing as in zero. Even you go internet, how long will it take me to, to really find out the real answer? Really don't know. Struggle. You're an average or middle income family. You're screwed. <laughs> Yeah, he struggles to no, do his yeah. essays just to apply for more scholarships, just to get some discount. Yeah. I mean, that's the most- Tiny discount. Luckily, we've been school. saving uh, since they were young. I'm afraid that I can't afford college and don't know how to find scholarships. This is also true, and I'm taking out loans this year, which I think adds a lot of internal pressure and both external pressure. And now that there's a monetary incentive involved in all of this. I think it is taking a toll on my mental health and it's something that's come up a lot in therapy as well. I think being afraid to afford college is so common for a lot of philams. I think our parents, especially for first gen, your parents don't know how the college system works. They don't know, maybe they don't know what FAFSA is. They didn't have a, like a 529 or they didn't have a savings account for you, but you're doing this for both you and your parents. Your parents are scared, you're scared. So y'all really got to make the best out of the situation. Okay, the only way to find success is to go to school. Any kind of parents, you know, especially Filipino families, we grow up in a we grew up in a Filipino culture that values school very much. So for us, going to school is your first step to really be successful. For me as a mom, I'm very, I was very tough when it comes to academics. I gave them everything. I want to make sure that they're very good in school. Especially Dylan is the the conscious one when it comes to to school. Yeah, we just try to be best as parents. Uh, but not too hard on them, just enough. And uh, it's a give and take between us and them. They always uh, think that mom, mom and dad, they always value school, education, so we better be good at it. I constantly worry if I'm failing my parents. Yeah, 24 seven, every midterm I take, every quiz, every, every time I do my homework, every time I look at my computer, you guys, you know, really, Put up a lot of money for me going to USC. Like, there's just a lot of pressure to do well, and also again, like, make a return on your investment because I really care about like what you guys have done for me, and like I don't want to like falter. frustrate us. No. Frustrate, disappoint. Um, like with my SAT, I'm scared about the LSAT taking the bar. Like I don't. Oh my god. And I think that's don't why maybe. Well, I think also like that's why maybe like I project 
myself differently around you guys like maybe i project my stress onto you like that's why i come yes. off as a little bit closed off yes or that's, that's how we feel i know that's how that and <laughs> i, I feel all the time but every time that's normal you feel like that but we don't expect yeah. too much as in too much from you but Just if you remember we want you to up, be happy come on dylan yeah we always said only do your best what is this I hope I did enough for my kid so they can succeed without me. Uh, uh. <laughs> What's up? I hope. I you know, hope it did. I think in general, <laughs> um, any parent, I think that that's the way they think. It's just uh, everybody's different. The yeah. how words to say or. Um, actions how to show their their mm -hmm. kid yeah but again there's some misconception just like earlier but you know, we're not perfect right but. i think what makes it hard is just that like it's on me now like you guys have like you can only take me up to a certain point and now it's just up to me and i think yeah be strong it's just hard because like i'm be doing strong it, I'm, but i'm like doing it alone and so it's sometimes it really <clears throat> it does get to me and so oh. You know, like obviously you guys can only offer so much and so I'm hoping that like that's gonna be enough to take me to the next step. But it's just it's too early to tell. Like I haven't graduated, I don't know. You'll I be switched fine. my major like so many times. You'll be like, fine. Yeah, you'll yeah. Be fine. It's I just fine. need to know that you guys think that I'm a reliable, you know, I'm, I'm you always reliable. Do. Like, I can do it. You always do. Just think of this. Uh, when you feel like your 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 world is going down and you always think mom and dad are always here for me, we're family. That's all. Mm -hmm. I have my sister, I have my mom and dad. I relied more on him. Yeah, and I think... Right? I feel like you did. And I feel I like did. a lot of that... I think I felt a lot of that pressure. Every day I would get texts like, did you turn in your FAFSA form? Did you fill this out? Did you need my W-2? You know, like things like that. And I'm just like, oh my God, like what even is that? Like, where do I get that information? Who do I go to? Like, I'm just trying to figure out what my classes are for the fall. Like, let, now I have to think about tax returns as a 17 18 year old like but that one i could handle you sure. know the fact that i handled example, it but yeah i think just the constant remindering of having yeah that, i was just, so anxious you know make right. sure you you know the deadline you meet the deadline mm -hmm. all the applications what what are the schools right. that you were applying yeah. to it's a lot of like <sighs> doing research on both ends right yes, yeah i don't know and i don't have yeah. a lot of filipino friends here that have um the experience you know mm. we were all immigrants so it's just like yeah, and all the kids are all the are kids age. are your age so all going through yeah In general it's very difficult uh, but it worked out I think. but it worked out <laughs> we made it yeah we're here you got in almost done yeah. yeah i am proud of my kid regardless yes yes I've been saying yes that. yeah yes yeah always proud of you yeah okay you just have to think uh i need to relax you need to relax more and be yeah. open to us more reach out to us more you we can be your therapist you don't the need to pay the therapist you, you, you know? overthink <laughs> and you, you overthink what how we're gonna react when you talk to us so you end up just right well there's just a know, lot of like a lot of like going around the beating around the bush a lot of like things i have to i feel like i have to do beforehand to be before i talk to you guys. sometimes it's easy for you guys to say like what's directly on your mind you guys don't really think about like the repercussions of what you're saying or like how it affects my mental health and I know mental health isn't like a big thing that's talked about like in our community like I hear a lot of like it's all in your head relax chill um I feel like I'm, I'm dismissed if we were to talk about it more if we were just to like really try to understand where I was coming from or ask me more questions about like why I was feeling the way I'm doing instead of trying to fix it then maybe I would be more willing to open up in the future okay, okay. good to know yeah. <laughs> good to know uh, but we have to start asking you more questions, yeah. I guess. Yeah, we'll but try you need our to, best you, but to... you need to open up yep. and don't uh -huh. take it differently. Yeah. Because the problem is sometimes when I question you or when, when I say something, you always misinterpret it. Mm -hmm. When I ask you, oh, how right. are you doing? Have you eaten already? You think like I'm nagging or I just wanna. Mm -hmm. Right, I, I wanna know how you're doing is... because yeah. Yeah, I think that's like your way of showing love and maybe. That's my l I, language. I didn't. I didn't really like up on that to be honest yeah i feel a little bit more comfortable talking to you guys now i think knowing <laughs> that and i think moving forward i don't have to put as much stress onto myself just knowing the fact that you guys 
honestly will be like 100% proud of me and like you have a you know oh. a big vote of confidence for me that I'll be okay regardless of how this whole college thing turns Downside. out yeah so I didn't really know I, I heard it but I didn't internalize it until now so thank you okay <laughs> <laughs> College is hard, but talking to your parents about it shouldn't be, because you and your parents both want the same thing, for you to succeed. That's why we partnered with McDonald's APA Next program to share resources available to Asian Pacific American students. If you have no idea where to start with college admissions, APA Next has workshops for you. And of course, there's scholarship programs for you to apply to. If you resonated with any of the Tabo takes from today's video, go visit apanext.com to find a community of APA visionaries who have been through the struggle and are willing to provide the resources and support to see you succeed as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, he has been such a good... He's not a trouble kid. Uh, mm. Well, not a trouble meaning like... Not a like trouble, yeah, yeah. Maybe a naughty boy. No, no, no.